the sweet noise of three printers working at the same time. The modular mounting system. I have found more than enough good use to this, especially the extended arms for the GoPro uh, can be mounted on something like a helmet to extend the GoPro even further. And now you can get those selfie shots, you know, really nice. But more than anything, you can use it just for a stand for the GoPro to get the time lapse or video. I've used it a bunch to get time lapses on my 3D printers. Uh, but there's also a bunch of other mounting systems, like for the phone. It's super easy to attach, and now you can get the perfect shot from your phone as well. So that's awesome. Uh, you also have the G clamp, so you can mount anything to the side. Oh shit, I forgot this. So you can mount anything from the side of your table, which is great, uh, especially for these kind of 3D printers where you have the edge so you can clamp it down and get your time lapse. So that's great. Out of all the things I've printed today, this one took the longest, but it's also been the most useful one for me. I use the GoPro a lot, so uh, it's, it's a great mounting system. I give it a thumbs up. The flying airplane. This is a perfect project for a parent and a kid to go out and just have a bunch of fun. The assembly is zero to none. All you have to do is pop the pieces together. It's really easy and it's printed in just one hour. Uh, I actually made it 120% scale, so it's a little bit bigger than, uh, than the original. Uh, but all you need is a rubber band and obviously the printed parts. So like I said, it's just a bunch of fun. I can imagine a couple of people gathering and shooting and racing with these, you know, trying to stay in the air the longest. And uh, I was uh, out yesterday shooting and I was actually quite impressed by how far you can shoot it and how long time it can stay up in the air. So I shoot a lot of videos for YouTube, so obviously some of these things are going to be related to cameras and mounts for different cameras. And this is something I have been enjoying lately. It is a mouth mount for GoPro. So you stick the camera on here and you put this in your mouth. You see, it works. It was actually printed. This was printed using the Filaflex filament. I think it's pronounced correctly. And even though it didn't turn out very well, it does work quite nicely. You see, it works. This mount is also for the GoPro and what you do is you slide it in here and that will remove uh, most if not all the vibrations in your video. So you slide it on like this and you can either hang it in something and that will act as a uh, vibration isolator or you can stand it up like this on something like a uh, quadcopter, quadcopter or if you have it hanging from a quadcopter with landing gear and that will remove most of the vibrations. Next up is a wire stripper and this does what it's supposed to do. It's not much to explain. It strips the wires and um, if you are tired of using the pliers for this, this one actually works really quite well. And uh, if you push down hard enough, you can actually cut the wire as well. And it works on really quite thick wires as well. And it was by far the quickest one to print at only 20 minutes of printing time. All you need is a small utility blade. I didn't have the correct size, so I just used some hot glue. Anyways, you can bolt it in place, or if you have the correct size, then definitely go for this. The final one is a tripod and can be used with the DSLR camera, the GoPro, the phone. You have this audio jack adapter. Now unfortunately my audio jack is on the top so it's upside down but eh. But for some of you it will work. The good thing here is that we have a ball joint so we can 
adjust the camera angle and uh, we also have these three legs that we can adjust the height. Uh, now this was probably the most trickiest one because I did print uh, this part, the three legged part uh, twice and uh, it actually broke the first time because I was pushing too hard. And it still collapses when I put the DSLR on. Uh, however, the phone and GoPro works just fine, so I shouldn't complain too much. Another really cool feature is that it folds up and takes up basically no space. And you can also hold it in your hand to record things or as a selfie stick or whatever. And uh, I think that's really quite cool. That's it for today. Comment down below your favorite one and if you would like to see more fun and uh, useful 3D prints. Here comes a quick special announcement. Some of you have requested me to open a Patreon account and Patreon is a place where uh, the creator, uh, aka me, can get supported by the viewers, aka you. Uh, by donations, it could be one dollar, it could be two dollars, whatever amount, uh, you can donate to me uh, every single month. And this is in no way an obligation and uh, if you can't afford it, don't do it. If you do have a couple of spare bucks uh, that you uh, want to spend by supporting my channel, then great. I will be forever thankful and that's my special announcement. So please go ahead and check out my Patreon page and I will see you next time. Bye.